song has <laughs> got to be a ripoff from the Smiths. This is uh, One Smart Person and Greg Gutfeld, the smart person today. A, I would consider a friend of mine, lives around the corner from me, kind of. He's a legend, film critic, <laughs> author, columnist, TV personality from the early days of MTV. Hello, I'm Kurt Loder. This is MTV. <laughs> That's how you always say, uh, you'd give the news, you go, this is Kurt Loder, Kurt Cobain. Did I sound like that? Yeah, no, I don't know. It's, that's what I always remember. Uh, but I you are, uh, you were a part of my life, in the, and then we had, we had you on Red Eye a lot. Right. Uh, you've been in, you made cameos in movies. You now host a Sirius, Sirius XM radio show called True Stories. I do. We talk to people. Yep. That's good. That's Talking to it. people is a good thing. <laughs> Make Not talking friends. to people on the radio sucks. Yeah, a lot of silence. That'd be bad. <laughs> no, that's honest fun. People should listen to it. Yeah. Now, do you uh, still write for Reason? Or uh, I, I see. Write, you. I wrote a movie column for Reason. Yeah, that's why I wanted to have you here because I want to talk about movies. Ah. The um, the Oscars were Sunday night. I didn't. I watched the first few minutes of it and then I just said, "Screw it, I'm going to go do something else." Because I knew I was going to talk to you and you were going to tell me. How was, the, how was the Oscars? Well, although you've probably never heard this before, I thought it was a really good show. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, every year people just say it was the worst. Yeah. But the lack of hosts, not having a host, is a brainstorm. It's yeah. brilliant. Yeah. You don't have these comics up there doing their stand-up act. Right. And just go right into the awards. Mm -hmm. It was fabulous. Was know, it shorter because of that? It was, well, it was three and a half hours, but still yeah. it wasn't four. Yeah. So, you know. I feel bad for Kimmel because talk about a compare and contrast, a show without Jimmy Kimmel does better than a show with Jimmy <laughs> Kimmel. But still, Jimmy Kimmel's Oscars was the worst ever. This was the second lowest ever, yeah. but it still was an increase of like 12 or 13%. Yeah, yeah. So I guess that they're digging themselves out of a hole. Well, yeah, they are. But it was, it was good. You had some, uh, some spontaneous moments. I think the Lady Gaga and Bradley Cooper thing was spontaneous. Spike Lee jumping into Samuel L. Jackson's arms was mm -hmm. so, so, so it didn't feel so controlled. Did, uh, do you believe the rumors about Lady Gaga and Bradley Cooper that maybe there's more than just a dramatic love? It's a real love, much like the love I have for you, Kurt. I <laughs> I don't want to jump in there, but it, there was a. You know, there was definitely a love vibe. Yeah, the way they were looking at each other is the yeah. way I look at donuts. <laughs> like, you know, I just they, they stare at each other. Like, I when I look at donuts, it's some. You know, why I look at donuts? It's that kind of love that you have when you know you can't have it. Because, like, I, I like I look at donuts and I go, I want a donut so bad. Every I can't eat donuts because they're you know they're fattening and they're sugary, and I just look at them and I can't have them. It's it's terrible, same Kurt. Thing, same thing with Lady Gaga. Yes. You can't have her either. I can't have her either. And maybe Bradley knows that because his girlfriend's in the audience. Well, that didn't seem to matter, did it? No, it didn't. <laughs> it didn't at all.